Hi there, welcome to Houston DIY, my name is Ben. In this video, it's part two of the Kiwi Design K4 Boost headset strap. Okay, so in part one of this video, we unboxed this headset strap, which is the second one of these, the K4 Boost headset strap with built-in battery. Super, super comfy. Feels like it's floating on your head almost. Bit of an exaggeration, but it is really, really comfy. The support on the back's really good, and the cushioned element on the top, again, really, really good. Been impressed so far with it. So part two of this video, or part two of this video series, is we're gonna unbox this second one. We're gonna take it to bits, we're gonna do a battery test on it, and you can see the inside of the actual headset strap, see how it actually is built, how Kiwi Designs have designed and built the actual headset strap. And then any questions you've got in the follow-up to this video, you can ask in the comment section. So what we'll do, we'll get this one out of the box, I'll take this one off, and uh, let's uh, get deassembling this headset strap. Okay, we've got a couple of angles on the go now, up here and over here as well. This one, just to give you a bit of a different angle, maybe a little bit of a close-up. Um, so I've got my USB-C testers. This is a USB-C cable with a testing voltage tester in there. I've got a separate one here that I've got as well. So I'll try this one first. If that doesn't work, we'll then try that one. But hopefully this one will work. So the idea is just to uh, plug this in between the actual battery cable and into the headset. Hopefully the cable will reach. It might not, so we might have to use that one there. Uh, but we'll see kind of what pass-through we're getting from this battery into the actual headset. So let me just take my little protector off there. Plug that into here. And I don't know if I will quite get the angle. No, I won't get the angle with that one without breaking it. So let's try this one instead. Okay, so what I've gone with, I've just gone and got, this is a USB-C extender. Um, so the USB female part there into a male port there. This is a uni green, oh sorry, a U green cable. Sorry, I'll link below if you want to grab one yourself. Um, so this will plug into there. Obviously we are, we are adding some more wiring onto this. So it might not be a fair test, but let's give it a go anyway. And we'll see what happens basically. So we'll get this, we'll plug it into here. Okay, so the screen is booting up. Let me just turn it that way. I'll hold that up to the screen so you can see that. Hold up to that camera there. And we are getting some output. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll unlock the headset so it's kind of fully booted up and fully on. Then we'll check the power. Okay, so that is now booted up and on the home screen. Let me just check what is on there. So we're getting 8.85 volts with 0.82 amp passing through there. Um, so I'll get, what I'll do is I'll just get a real close up of that just on, on, my, on another camera here, just so you can see that. So I'm just getting a little bit of video footage of that there. Okay, so we're recording on here as well, just get a real close up of there so you can see what's passing through. So that's the pass through you're getting from the actual battery into the headset there. So that all looks fine. Obviously the, um, that'll go up and down in terms of the amperage in terms of when you're using the actual headset. Um, so that is, that is that, showing the pass through all working fine there. So what we'll do now, we'll have a look exactly what the uh, battery looks inside the headset strap. So we'll use this one. So we're gonna unbox this one real quick, get it down onto the desk, and then we'll use some tools I've got here just to deassemble it the best we can and check what's going on inside. Okay, we don't need this at the moment. We'll just move that out of the way carefully. Pop that down there. Let's get inside this one. Okay, just to confirm a couple of things. I don't think I covered it in the first one. Obviously I did cover it. It's a 3000 milliamp power battery. 5 volt, 2.4 amp, um, 20.4 watt hours, that's the energy, and it's USB type C in and out, uh, input contact power up to 45 watt, output contact power up to 25 watt, um, operating temperature between minus 10 and 45 degrees Celsius. So there we have it, model number is QS02B. So that's all on the back of there just to confirm. So let's get this actually inside here now, let's stop waffling about that. So we don't need that element, I'll keep that as a spare for now. And that's the box with nothing else there. Let's take this. Okay, as I mentioned, it is really, really well built. Um, so you can possibly see on one of these cameras, um, there is certain sc some screw holes on the inside of there. So what we'll probably do first of all is try and get those uh, unscrewed, unfastened. So I'll just get my um, screwdriver set here and we'll see if one of these can fit into here. Okay, so I think I've got a bit that fits. Let's try and get this unscrewed now. Okay, here we go. 
So there's five screws by the looks of it here. Just keep them over there, keep them safe. We'll try and put this back together if we can after. I'll also link to the screwdriver set as well that I got off Amazon. Okay, so those are the five screws out of there. I'm not sure if this will now lift out. Kind of. Let's give it a... It's obviously like clipped in. Might just take a little bit of force to pry it out. Okay. So that was the, that's the mechanism there. Kind of a gear system built in when you turn that dial to obviously tighten things up. So that's how that works. It's kind of a, on each of those is a gear and it goes into the into that there. So that's that. You can then see the ribbon cable there. So we've got the USB-C ribbon cable, which comes from the inside of there, which then goes down the actual battery strap arm. So we've got the, the ribbon cable there into the arm. And you've got the cable coming out of there. So there's a ribbon strap going down this arm, which is cool, which then gives you the flex as well. So it allows the actual ribbon cable to flex as this gets smaller and larger. I guess time would tell how long that ribbon cable will last for, but I imagine it will last for a long, long time. So that's that. So we've got the ribbon cable going into there. What we'll try and do now, there are some more screws in here now to get to the battery. So I'll undo these screws here. I'll fly through it. You don't have to watch me doing that. And then we'll check out what's going on inside there. Okay, eight screws un uh, unscrewed there, four on each side of this plastic bit here. So I'm just try and prise this bit out now, which shouldn't be too difficult, hopefully. Okay, there we go. So I will get a really close up of this for you just to show you, but you can hopefully see on there, we've got the circuitry board there. We've got battery, battery on each side. We've got battery that side and a battery on that side, just to show you there. Uh, the circuitry board on there, as I mentioned, which obviously controls all the power in terms of the power distribution out of the battery into the headset and also charging. So you've got capacitors and all sorts going on in here. I'm not gonna pretend to know what's going on fully, but that's what's going on. Uh, you've got the two connectors for the batteries, um, just the wires going there, and you've got the actual USB-C ribbon cable that connects into that, uh, into that connector there. What I'll do, let me just get a real close up now, just with my uh, phone camera, just so you can see exactly what's going on there, just with a real close up. Okay, there we go, real close up, just using the phone camera, just to get close up on those uh, components inside of there. You can see the actual camera, uh, sorry, the USB-C cable, the ribbon cable that's connected there into there. You see the different elements used for the uh, cable. Um, you can see the two black wires that go from each side into the battery. So you've got two batteries split evenly across the actual unit. And then, as I mentioned, the actual circuit board there that's controlling all the power. Uh, USB-C port there. Let's get a focus on that, which is soldered on directly onto the board. Um, so, obviously, if you had an issue with your USB USB-C port, in theory, you could take this to bits quite easily, and you could all, you could even replace that USB-C port really easily as well. Um, so that's really, really cool, really smart. Okay, what we'll do now is we'll just take this ribbon cable here. And let me just take this ribbon cable out of the actual connector. So I should just be able to push this out either side. Okay, I think that's probably released enough. There we go. So that's the actual battery unit now separated from this ribbon cable. This ribbon cable, as you can hopefully see as I peel this off, sits behind that plastic there, runs through this connection here, which we'll try and prise open in a minute. But you can see the ribbon cable goes down there really well hidden inside the actual uh, battery strap arm or the headset strap arm, um, giving it that flexibility needed to actually make the headset strap bigger and smaller. Okay, so the batteries themselves are in here. So let me try and get one of these out. I'm not sure, I think they're just stuck in rather than actually screwed in. So let me just try and prise one out without piercing the battery. Yep, so it's stuck down with some glue and some tape inside of there. So that just 
rises out really easily. Um, it's got the connections on there. Again, I'll get another close up of the back of this as well, just to show you. Let's try and get this whole unit out though. Let's try and get the other, other battery out as well. So it's totally separated from the plastic. Again, let me just try and prise the battery out without piercing it, like so. And there we go. That's the plastic bit now totally disconnected from the battery unit. So we've got the battery connection on the back of there. So again, let, like I mentioned, let me just get a close up of that for you just to show you. So let's record a close up of the back. See the connections onto the pads back there from the battery and the pads there as well from that battery. The batteries themselves, they are labeled up. Let me just see if I can see if they're exactly the same. Okay, so the batteries actually say on them two, uh, 2,658 milliamp hours per battery, it's saying, but it's only rated at 3,000. So I'm no electrical expert. I'm not sure what's going on there, but they're exactly the same. The batteries are exactly the same. Again, let me get a close up just to show you what's going on in the batteries. So you can see there we've got the milliamp power. We've got the 3.85 volt, 10.21 watt hours there. Um, let me just flip that around and show you the other battery. So you can see we've got that there as well. So two batteries, exactly the same. So when it boils down to it, that's what's inside. Obviously there's a lot of intelligence going on in the circuit, uh, circuit board here in terms of the um, um, the charging and the battery output, um, sorry, the output from the battery into the headset, then obviously the charging capability. But in terms of repairability, being able to repair this, I think it would be quite simple to do. If you wanted to replace the batteries, for example, if there was a fault, you could probably do. Um, so that looks really, really good. Um, really well thought out in terms of space inside the headset and fitting into that mechanism, um, making the most out of the sm small amount of space there is really. Okay, we're all done there now with part two of this video series, which has been the K4 Boost. So we've got the K4 Boost battery headset strap disassembled right here. Got down to the battery and the circuit board there. Just to show you the design, the design being really cool. How it's got the, the uh, ribbon cable built into the actual arm of the headset strap, which is really smart, which then turns obviously into that USB-C cable there. Okay, last thing just to cut in there, what I'll do, I've managed to get hopefully into the actual side here where the ribbon cable is converted into the kind of standard USB-C cable that you would expect. So hopefully I've got into that here, just snapped it open and got into there. Okay, so we've got a connector, so there's like a connector block there, uh, which is converting it from the ribbon cable into the actual standard rounded kind of cable you would come to expect from a USB-C cable. Again, let me just get a real close up of that just to show you. Okay, as you can hopefully see there, you've got the ribbon cable coming through into that connection block and taking it into a USB-C cable there. It's a really, really smart design. Just had to prise that open with a screwdriver and broke into that, but that's absolutely fine, showing that off really, really well. Okay, all done in this video now. K4 Boost, deassembled, showing the internals, what's going on. Uh, very impressive in terms of the design, research, building that goes into that. Really, really cool. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. It's been informative. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If you haven't for any reason, give it a dislike. Let me know in the comment section why. Any questions about any, what, anything that I've brought down here, about the batteries, anything at all, please drop that in the comment section. I'll reply to all questions and comments. And if you want to follow the Houston DIY channel for more product reviews, tech reviews, Kiwi design videos, home DIY projects, and much, much more, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.